have to. Just keep going can, straight. Keep, keep going straight. How can you not hook up in there, mate? Oh. Yeah, on. Fast works. <laughs> Nice. Speedy Gonzalez. He's going. Yeah, got some speed there. It is a bit cranky. Right, might have got a bit of a bigger one. It's good fun. And they're white watering the place, throw a stick bait into that. Watch your stick bait get munched. There's a lot to like about this long tail stuff. I heard a saying a while ago that if you know a fish, you understand a waterway. And today we're gonna to test that theory and we're gonna test it what I believe to be one of the toughest fish in the ocean to catch. We're in the playground of Brisbane, Moreton Bay, waiting for a help to come. He'll be here shortly, boat ready, and then we're into action. Nice. Hey mate, hey. right and early. Right and early. Ready to go get some? Time's wasting, chuck us that. Let's get into it. Where you going, <laughs> Roughly. It's that way. I do it by feel. We've got Brisbane on one side and Morton Island on the other, and our target today is northern bluefin tuna, also known as long-tailed tuna. What I want to demonstrate today is the power of spending lots of time on the water watching how a fish behaves. And our resident expert today, he's very humble, he won't say that, is <laughs> Joe, who spends so many hours chasing these fish. Mate, today, what's, what's a good target? What do we set ourselves to do? We want a couple of 12 to 15 kilos, bare right. minimum. Um, hopefully a 25 to 30 kilo. All right, so two 12 to 15s. Yep. Or, and a, or a genuine trophy, 20 plus. 20 plus, a, a 20 plus. A. As I've seen long tails before, bite very well one day. Terribly the next. next. Right, so we're at the, the top end, it's early season for the long tails, so we're at the top of Morton Bay. And find them. Gotta find some bait. Right, let's go look. Weather's nice, it's Weather's a plus. beautiful. A couple of birds over yeah, there. Yeah, there's like a line on that current there. Oh, yeah, that current line there. Might just have a bit of a look. Well, it's early. You start them any minute. Any minute. Morton Bay is a big place, plenty of water. Obviously, to catch them, we've got to find them, so. We Tricks? Do. Uh, know where the bait is um, on a seasonal basis. Um, it it, it move, moves through certain areas at certain times of the year. And uh, looking for your, you're looking for birds. The birds are obviously your eyes in the sky. They, uh, they always know where the fish are well before you do. And uh, use your electronics. In a place like Morton Bay specifically, what, what is the bait movement? What's the pattern that you see through the year? It, it comes in from the northern end of the bay. As the season progresses, uh, it generally pushes south. Yeah, the better the season, the better the weather we have, the further south the bait pushes, the further south the fish push, obviously. And does the bait, the type of bait, change? Uh, this time of year, it's your blue pillies, your typical you know, South Queensland pillies, move into the bay. They actually come into the bay to feed on the white bait fry, believe it or not. If you, if you really study your electronics, you'll actually see the pillies underneath pushing the white bait up. So you'll come along, you'll see a whole heap of little bait flicking, and underneath the little bait, there's more bait. But at this time of year, um, it, um, it's, it's all about the blue pillies. Let's go find them in the long time. Yeah, it's just waiting to happen, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it really is, yeah, yeah, yeah it really is. Let's go look for those splashes now. We've just found a school of long tail tuna. We're gonna get the rods rigged up and get the boat in the right spot. So they're feeding back into, um, into the slight northerly wind we've got at the moment. So we're gonna push ourselves to the northern side, uh, let the boat drift back towards the fish and uh, the fish come towards us. They, uh, they tend to feed into the wind um, or the tide, depending on whichever's strongest. So if we, can, uh, if we can get ourselves in the right spot here, we should be with a shot pretty, pretty soon. Isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh, I hear they're coming your way. They're coming your way. Yeah, they're, they're definitely longies, mate. Oh. 
So much bait here. So much bait. Yeah. There they are. There they are. Stay up. They're notorious for diving for cover as soon as you get within a cast distance of them. I reckon though, they stay up. We've got a shot yeah, here. Yeah, just a little bit further in, mate. Birds are talking. Yeah, there, there, there. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Uh, hold on. Yeah, mate. Now being first boat in there at the moment. The other boat's charging into fish and putting them down. We just need to get a shot ourselves and we are away. Right up. That's the one. Come on, go, go, go. That's the one. Oh, oh. oh. What happened then? Something's wrong with this oh. braid. You yep. on? Got him. <laughs> oh. So much fun to catch them on oh, service. They're still there. They're still there. Are you right? I'm good, mate. Yeah. I'm sure, having fun, I just saw life. one. Tight little bait ball. Once again, just having braid. It's like a 40 pound braid. Good long rod, you can cast a long distance, particularly with a, a lure. Stick bait of this size means you can cast a long way and that's a real key to catching fish that are pressured. It's obviously a city fishery. Further you can stay away from the fish, the more chance you've got of catching them, and that's the reason we're using this gear. Those tight bait balls you usually get bites off, because yep. they're just intent on it, so you can pull your lure within proximity. As soon as your lure was on it, I could Ooh, eat, bang, I knew it was going to get eaten. There he goes. Yeah, he's a nice fish. Look at him, he's all right. He's a nice fish. Cool. Doing the tuna circle work. Bit of pinwheeling. They're a very stubborn fish. This is why I rate them so highly, eh there? Can be really fussy and hard to catch. Uh, awesome fish to catch. Oh, it's a pretty pleasing sight. Eat surface and they pull hard, mate. There's not much more that you can ask. Suddenly made if they it, jump, they'd be the perfect fish. Mate, it suddenly made it worthwhile getting up really early <laughs> it's a to come and yes, see it you. Did. Well done. One, two, three. Bay line is on. undone. Morton Bay, long tail. And... There you go, mate. And they're still busting away in the background. Yeah, they are still busting away in the background. We've got one. And that's it, just the, the approach. We got one shot at that school, we're the first ones there. And that's, the that's the key. First one's there, the nice cast. long cast with a good rod. Get the, get the lure in there and uh, they can't the help spot. themselves, mate. No, they no, can't help themselves. No stick bait, so like an, it's not a common lure choice for people to use. Very often you see plastics and metals, and I've caught lots of metals and plastics, yep. but to see them eat that is awesome. And it's something different. It's such a majestic fish and just made for speed. You only got to look at that, the fins, basically locked to the body of the fish. There's indentations on the body to make it all locked together like a torpedo. And that's what they do. They get torpedo speeds very quickly. Big eyes for hunting. Just an immaculate sport fish and sneaky lure. I'll stick bait that Joe so likes. So secret, I can't even tell you what it is. And there's dinner. Time for another one, mate. Time for another one. Go. Get into it. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah? Yep. Yes. So put another one in? Yeah, bloody oath. <laughs> they turn on you so quickly, don't they? Oh, yeah. Good work, dude. Yes. That's not a bad fish, is one. Well. Pretty sure I had me drag set from one of that match in, isn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Go on. It's pretty good city fishing, I reckon. Pretty good city fishing, mate. Not, not bad for uh, a few hundred thousand people living about 30 yeah. k's away. Do you want me to drive you onto that fish? Nah, I'm right. coming back, mate. So we've, we've upgraded the stick bait to single hooks just for these prolonged fights on the tuna. They tend to stick in there and hold in there better than the uh, trebles. Um, it's certainly certainly well worth um, popping a few uh, mustard singles on when chasing big fish. You're puffing, mate. It must be all right. You took a bit of line, actually. Mm. Not to be too bad. Very, very stubborn fish. Which is the reason why we all love catching them. As long as they're going absolutely tropo behind the boat again. That there is the end result of a, you want the old tax man having his way with your fish. Uh, it's a big problem in all of the bays. Morton Bay and Harvey Bay especially. It, uh, one of the reasons why we use big gear. Unfortunately, sometimes you get bigger fish than the gear can handle quickly. New lure and uh, go again. Oh, well, make it, oh, there. Hold on. Here we go. Those are big ones. Those are big longies there. Yeah, yeah. Go, mate. 
That's the one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh. Throwing the lure. Twitch. 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 I felt it. Coming behind that lure and nudged it, threw it a meter up in the air. Just couldn't find a hook. A cunning fish, the old mocktails. We're just slowly twitching it through the school rather than ripping it back. They're not, they're not super aggressive at the moment. They're just feeding on small bait. We're trying to convince them to eat a much larger bait. The trick is to really keep it in their face, give them something to look at and think, well, why would I eat small bait when I can have one big bait to eat? Oh! Got him? Yep. I'm coming in. Which side are you? Oh, down they go. Got a good one? Uh, yeah. Got a chase. Before it runs under that boat. Yeah, oh. might have to. Yeah, it's got, it's got a bit of get up and go on it. Oh. Has he got your line? No, he shouldn't have. I'll try and get on the top of it. Did he just hook up? Yeah. I'm in trouble with lots of boats cruising around. Is you hook a fish like a long tail and it takes off, and they do tend to run high in the water. The rest of them running in front of other boats and motors. So, what we're doing now is just trying to keep on top of the fish and push it down and make sure no boat comes and ruins Joe's day. All right, bail arms open. Okay. Oh, nice little long. Pretty fish. Look at that. Stick bait. Nice reflective colour, you would have seen that a mile away. And pretty fish. See that little blue lateral line? You get that uh, slight yellow tinge on the fins. A little bit, a lot of our tuna have yellow fins, which sometimes makes it a bit confusing for the newcomers. He's not a yellow fin tuna, he's a northern blue, but they do have that little yellow tinge. Well done, mate. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, you have to. Just keep going can, straight. Keep, keep going straight. How can you not hook up in there, mate? Oh, yeah, on. Fast works. <laughs> nice. Speedy Gonzalez. He's going. Yeah, he got some speed he, there. He's a bit cranky. Right, might have got a bit of a bigger one. It's good fun. And they're white watering the place. Throw a stick bait into that. Watch your stick bait get munched. There's a lot to like about this long tail stuff. With, with the school busting up, and uh, it's, it's good to get them so the sun's in your eyes and not in the fish's eyes. Obviously, we all uh, run around with our lovely spotters on, which makes us be able to see into the sun a bit better. But the fish don't have that luxury, of course, so they tend to feed away from the sun. So it's a lot easier if you can uh, position the boat in the right spot so they're not looking directly into it, so they can scoff your stick bait quicker. Oh. Shark. Shark. Yeah, as soon as he got, as soon as he got agitated. Wait, that's not feeling good. Yeah. Man, the sharks. There's another reason it's worth fishing heavy. You've got to go hard on these fish so the sharks don't get them. In that case, not heavy enough. Coming in hot. Go, Nudge. Close enough. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can get one. On. You can get oh. one out of there. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at that. Nice fish, mate. Look at this school. It is a big school, Joe. Still going? Yep. They are going nuts. I've got to say, throwing stick baits at these animals is a whole lot of fun. Wouldn't be the box, the lure I'd take out of the box straight away on long tails, but you... Only way to catch them, mate. Only way to catch them. You have me converted. I've always been finessey, little plastics, little metals. You've gone the complete opposite way, big stick bait, and it does work. Do you, to, do you want me to run up on him or you're right? Nah, it's all right. Hard to believe that you got one of our major cities a few clicks that way. You can enjoy this world-class sport fishing so close to the urban CBD. The trouble is, on a weekend day, you're gonna have a lot of pressure and fish do respond to that pressure. And sometimes, just by changing tact, 
and give them something else can be the trick to it, but then you've got to use the gear to do it. Obviously, bigger rods with throwing big, big lures. Everything you can do to try and get close to pressured fish, that's the key to catching them. And lots of time on the water, guys like Jay will spend, they experiment and they come up with good ways to catch them. It does work. There he is. A little fella. Isn't that a gorgeous fish, Joe? Beautiful Look fish. Look at the blue, blue on it. Look at the colours on it. Getting up around that 10, 12 kilo, mate, mate. Another 10, 12 kilo. Which would, uh, which would um, make challenge complete, mate. Oh, well done, mate. Gold. Look at that. What a beautiful fish. It's been a pleasure, mate. Only way to fish, mate. Only way to fish. I reckon we'll have to fish on the way back to the <laughs> ramp, but I'm just about done. It's been awesome. For the day, eh? Yeah, we'll see what we can do, but I think you've uh, ticked your, your, your challenge off. Should... I'm impressed. Stick baiting long tails is something new. If you want to get out and do it, get yourself a sizable spin rod. Sizable spin rod. 30 to 50 pound, at least seven, you know, these are seven foot 11 rods. Yep. Seven foot plus. Bunch of stick baits. Doesn't matter. Around what that size. 140, 160 mil size. And, and um, go and have some fun, fun mate. Go and have some and fun. It is fun. All right, mate, let's get this one back let's in. Let's get him back in. Looks good up here. It does look good up here. Lots of birds looking. There has, has to be a pack up here somewhere. As soon as we get close, just go, dude, because there's 400 boats coming at you. Righto, go. Yes, nice. Nice one. That's on the um. That was sneaky. I was on the Cavallo. It's not a bad option, you know, like to have one of each because mixes stick it up. Stick bait, you, you get the surface fish, and then if they they suddenly retreat and go down, the Cavallo's going to get them. Geez, they take some string in that first run. Still got it. He's got a shark on him. I think. Got a shark on him. Yeah, he's coming straight back at me, and he just jumped out of the water. This yeah. is not going to end well. He's up high. That's a good sign. Do you want me to go to him? Yep. It's the other good thing with using a visible braid is you can follow a fish around on the boat. So if you've got to try and chase a fish, you can easily see which way it's going. I'm just wondering if he's got a tax man up his um, yeah. rear end. Nice fish. Got a mate there too, I think. The way he's playing up, feels like there is a shark there, but I can't see the shark. What's this thing been eating? <gasps> is it Angry? roids? Come off. All roughed up on the end. Another tax man wins. Let's get another one. Let's fish over there. Oh yes. Mark, and they are going hard. Water, right there. Oh! Nice. I reckon your tail wrap. I think I've got him on the tail too, just judging by the feel of that. This could take a while. <laughs> yes, this could. I'm going over your head, right? Yeah, go, mate. I'll just rod draw down. <laughs> it's a hard way to wind a tuna back, apparently. Very hard way to catch a tuna. I'm about to get shark again. Yeah, got him. We're away. Double up. Double. <laughs> and I got shark. Oh, it's a brief double. I Tell you what, get it, is there another lure around? Right? They're still going, are they? Yeah, look at them. Still seem in the water here. Let's try another Puffing one. away. We had a brief double. Shark settled it. <laughs> Pretty cool having a rod that's just can A cast that far, but nice and soft up the top. It's got so much grunt down the bottom. It's perfect for throwing these stick baits. Oh, it's tuna busting up, birds. I don't know what the people in the offices are doing over there. Just over there, Joe. I don't know. I don't know how there are those going. Oh. It's just fish fight. everywhere. Look at that. Such a cool fish. Big shark down there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a big shark. Oh, geez, that's a big shark. They're never far away, are they? No, nah, they're never far away. Joe, that might be all she wrote, I reckon. Oh, I don't think you're going to get that one back, mate. That was awesome. Except for the sharks. Except for the sharks. There's the food chain in action. The, uh, That's the pretty impressive. The sharks won this one. I think so. 
No, we did all right. We've got our tuna. We've got our few in the boat, mate. We've got Passed our few. the test. Passed the test. And we've done it all with. And we fed the sharks. The afternoon crowd working just over there. Yes, we Even did. better. Oh, mate, let's get away before the Arvo Northerly Before comes. the afternoon sea breeze kicks in. Oh,